Hey everybody, Dan Holston here, helping your business take flight. And today we're talking about A players and specifically how do we go about attracting A players to our teams? And the answer might not be what you think. So stick around, I think you're gonna like this one. Okay, so we're talking about how do we attract the A players to our team. So first of all, what we have to define is why do we need an A player? What is the rule that they need to fulfill? And I find that sometimes business owners kind of skip over this and don't get as granular as they need to be to really define the A player they need. So what do I mean by defining the role? First of all, what is the job description? Um, you know, what has to happen, you know, in this particular role? And the next thing is what are not just what has to happen, what are the desired outcomes? And this is the important bit. Right? What has to actually occur when that role is fulfilled? What is the desired outcome we're looking for as it's going to contribute to the overall viability and growth of the business? Now, sometimes we can have somebody that we attract that's a good fit for what the job description says, you know, the do part of it, but they may be lacking the ability to follow through, execute well, and create the desired outcome. And a great example of that could be a salesperson. You know, they can prospect, they can make calls, they can close sales, they can look after the paperwork, they can do the orders, but can they help grow the business by 22% this year? That needs to be outlaid in there in the role that this role is designed for someone to fulfill and grow the business by 22% or whatever the percentage growth is. We want to be really specific with that. The next thing is what are the key attributes, abilities, and skills of the ideal candidate? What's the, we can create this avatar of the best possible person for this role. What is it they like to read? What's their mindset? What do they enjoy doing? What do they hate doing? Do they have a proven track record, track record of success doing what you need them to do, creating the outcomes? You need them to create. Now, when we have this list of what are all these ideal uh, attributes of this individual, that's the easy part. Now the hard part comes. This amazing individual, who would they like to work for? Hint, it's you. What are the attributes you need to, to be displaying as a leader that would be worthy of attracting in this amazing person? You know, I find that business owners complain about their staff sometimes. Like, oh, I can't get good people, or this person's okay, but if they would only just you know, whatever, fill in the blank here in, you know, in terms of lack. But what the business owner doesn't do is work on themselves. Remember, to have great people, you have to become a great leader. So the next list is not only just what is the amazing attributes of this individual, what are the attributes of an amazing leader that this person would want to work for, that they would go above and beyond for, that they would want to be loyal to, that they would want to get that result for? What does that leader look like? And then look at your inventory of how you are as a leader and identify where do you need to go to work? We all have work we can do on our leadership. I don't care how great a lead your leader you are. I'm certain there's something you could do just a little bit better to attract even better people. So where is it you need to go to work on your leadership so you could be really attractive to the person that would be amazing for the role that you have in mind? So that's it this week. How do you attract a great, a great player? By being a great leader. And where do you need to go to work on that? If you have any challenges around leadership or you have questions about where you need to get to work on your own leadership, hit me up for a chat. I'm always happy to help. I'm a resource for you please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to have a conversation with you. That's it for this time. Have a fantastic week and we'll catch you next time. See ya.